only blood right now, but who knows? Vemos may ask for our hands next. Go on, go on! Make your offering! I'll pass. The blood is for the cause, not the boy. Make your sacrifice. Sorry. We just have to keep our sights on what the bloodline will do for us. The bloodline? The mother, the father, the sister. You know, his kin. We need them. All of them. To use them. That information is not for Vemos, of course. You know how volatile he is. He could rip through us easily. I'll be sure to keep it to myself. As you should. Nor can he know he's about to capture his mother. <laughs> And do what with her? I would lower my voice if I were you. Just know she will be put to good use, unless she's uncontrollable. You know where she is? No, but it won't be long until we do, I assure you. She's the cult's next target. Tell me about Demos. He's shown us what we need to know. He's a machine, a weapon for the cult. Someone that unstable can't be trusted with such personal information. I have to go. To our great ambition. To ambition. I'll need much more information to identify who these cultists are. You're not listening. Forget the mother. I'm still not convinced. You. We need another opinion on this. Why split resources searching for a woman we can't find? If we narrow our focus, Athens will be ours. Immediate threats have to be destroyed. Pericles has to be destroyed. Not without the mother. We aren't strong enough without the mother. Don't let Demos hear that. If anything, we should be hunting the father. <sighs> we know who the mother is. Looking for the father would be a waste of resources. What do you think? Hunt the champion's mother or his father. Neither. You have a better idea. The sibling, Cassandra. She's as good as ours already. We need to look to the future. No. Go after her. Now, if you'll excuse me. I hear you perfectly. You're just wrong. You need to look for the father. Letters to and from the cult. Gods, they have a foothold in every part of the Greek world. We're in more danger than I thought. Why they face? So sad. Like the tragic mask of Melpomene. Your family is safe. For now. Just... Just don't touch them. Don't hurt them. 
That is up to you. But I know you'll behave because you know their fates if you don't. Please, don't. We will kill them. Your wife, your child. And then what would you have to live for? Nothing. Exactly. yourselves together, Malaka. You're a fucking pig before slaughter. I'll do it, I swear. I'll kill him. Let me go. You like to watch, you sick fuck. You're not just going to watch. You're going to teach this little insolent shit a lesson. Does he deserve it? Does it fucking matter, does it? What I say goes. No questions asked. I... I couldn't do it. But I'm not scared. Not anymore. If you can't kill a fucking Archon, what are you gonna do when I tell you to kill a fucking Archon? I will. I will. I'll kill Fidias. I don't want it. Well, you fucking have to want it. Cause I say so. Take it. No. He's yours. Huh. You don't know what the fuck fun is. <laughs> More for me. <laughs> fuck with me and there's plenty more where that came from. It's fuck strange. up like that again, you know, draw blood. Now get the, the fuck out of here before it's I get this shots, like blood on your robes! You! Someone was spotted going into your house! Guards were found dead outside! Tell me who you talk to or I'll break your pretty face! Please! I beg you! She forced me! I thought she would kill me! She? I will kill you! What did you tell her? <laughs> <laughs> Speak before I really give you something to cry about. I wish I could do something. But if I reveal myself now, this will all be for nothing. Ah, you had the last piece. Now it is ready. Every time I see it, it calls to me and sings of power. Does it call to you like it calls to me? It does. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I... No. My great warrior hasn't even arrived yet. Gather yourself and hold your tongue, fool. Show respect for the bloodline.
Alpinor is dead. One of you is a traitor. The artifact will expose them. Everyone will be tested. You first. There were people in the temple. I couldn't see their faces. They... Herodotus. They control all of the Greek world. Everything. I see. It's worse than I thought. There's more. They have a weapon. What kind? A soldier. Stronger and more... Ferocious than any I've ever seen. Herodotus... It's my brother.
we need to get to Athens. Athens? We need to find my mother. My clothes. Spear. Uh, of course. My spear! The cult of Cosmos called my brother Demos. He used an artifact to see my memories. Cassandra, the man I serve, we must tell him what's happened before it's too late. You've heard the name Pericles before. Pericles is the king of the free people of Athens. King? Athens has no king. Pericles serves the people, not the other way around. Serves the people? You're right. He's not much of a king. Save your doubts. He is working to end this war. We all are. If there are forces colluding against him, he must be warned. We have to go. To Athens? They're hunting my family, my mother. I have to find her. You carry the blade of Leonidas. Act like it. If Pericles doesn't put an end to this war, we're all as good as dead. Including your mother. Fuck your war! The cultists are exterminating my family! You have a duty to the Greek world. We both do. Pericles must be warned. She is my mother. What would you have me do? If there is one place where we can find information about your mother, it is in Athens. How? Pericles surrounds himself with the brightest minds in Athens. Which is to say anywhere. In Athens, you can fulfill your duty to your family. But before we can go, I need you to meet me at the Lion of Leonidas, at Thermobile. Leonidas? Why? There's something I need to know. Something that may help us take down this cult, and save your mother. You've proven I can trust you, but let's make it quick, Irodotos. First, Thermopylae. Then we go to Athens. I'll make sure every single one of these cultists dies by my hands. Cosmos demands to know the secrets hiding in the hearts of men, so I simply cut them open.
Who needs democracy when Thrakmi rules the world? Is nothing without me. Even the gods cower in my wake. Kneel or die. Chaos is our greatest strength. The fight is only over when I am the last man left standing. I spent 20 years at sea, only to realize the cult was my home. understand you better when you carve your rules into the backs of their heads. <laughs> What's one life worth without a thousand others behind it?
Thermopylae. They say you can't walk this battlefield without getting blood on your toes. This is where Leonidas was laid to rest. I wish I had known him. If you close your eyes, you can hear them. Their final war cries. Before every last one of those brave Spartans perished. Their voices were silenced that day. But their story will be sung for an eternity. You didn't bring me here to talk about dead Spartans. What's on your mind, Herodotus? The Battle of Thermopylae still echoes in our hearts. But to stand here is to feel it in your bones. There's nothing here but ghosts. My concerns are with the living. Hold out your spear. My spear? What for? I need to know something. Herodotus! I'm fine. I'm fine. The stories are true. That is the spear of Leonidas. The hero's blade. Where were Sparta's allies? The Spartans weren't alone in facing Xerxes and his hordes. Many from across the Greek world were armed and ready to fight alongside Leonidas and his 300. But when the mighty king looked into their eyes and saw fear, he sent them home. That sounds like madness, not bravery. It was foretold by the Pythia that Sparta would lose either its freedom or its king to the Persians. Leonidas made his choice. What happened to Leonidas after the battle? Xerxes was famous for honoring warriors who fought valiantly against the Persians. But Leonidas infuriated him so much, he cut off his head and impaled it on a pike. A bloody battle ensued, and his remains were reclaimed by the Spartans and buried here. Now, however, he rests where he belongs. In Sparta. What happened to the traitor? If Xerxes paid him well, but treachery breeds treachery. 
A contract was put on his head, and he died as he lived. A coward. You knew this would happen. I didn't know, but I did suspect. There is a place I'd convinced myself was a dream. Until now. A peculiar structure on the island of Andros. Mysterious shapes carved in stone. Like nothing I've ever seen. You want to sail to Andros so you can show me shapes? In my travels, I heard whispers of an ancient civilization. A people who came before. Your spear and that place are connected. You mentioned a people that came before. Who were they? They were not gods, but they lived far longer than any mortal and were far more intelligent. I've seen carvings in caves, strange symbols that suggest it was this ancient civilization that created humankind and provided them with fire. But Zeus blamed Prometheus. Yes. Well, perhaps his eagle has been feasting on the wrong liver. The spear awakened to you, Irodotos. I trust you. You understand. I will do everything in my power to help you find your mother. I promise. But first, sail to the island of Andros. I'll meet you at my ship. Welcome aboard the Adrestia, Irodotos. Will you be traveling with us? Only for a short trip. I have business to attend to in Athens. Irodotos is helping me find my mother. Seeking help from the gods has put Irodotos on your path, just like they put you on mine. They work in ways beyond our comprehension, and all we can do is follow their lead. You could be right. Irodotos and I share enemies too. Like Elpinor? He is was part of a very powerful group called the Cult of Cosmos that controls the Greek world through the Oracle. Control the Oracle? Impossible! Apollo would not allow that! Now they're looking for my mother. I need to find her before they do. And I believe they will hurt others who oppose their views along the way. By Hermes! The Oracle lost to corruption, and now this cult? Do we know who leads them? I don't know for sure. But... I think it might be my brother. Your brother? By Zeus, your life is complicated! Tell me about it. But don't you worry! This cult of Cosmos now has three new enemies! And one of them fights like Athena gods down upon them! Is he always this positive? Always. That's why I like him. Poseidon, carry us to Athens! First, we need to go to Andros. To Andros, then! We're going to have to do some upgrades to my ship if we're sailing into war. What do you mean? Well, she's old, and perhaps not in the best condition. You couldn't have said this before we set sail? Where in Poseidon's name are we going to get the supplies? My father taught me that the sea takes, and we must do the same. Fortunately, there are plenty of pirate ships in these waters that we can board and take from. What are we waiting for? Let's hunt some pirates! Now that we have the necessary resources, we can upgrade the ship's hull. 